Oh hi, this is a nice look. Um, I thought I would just intro this video really quickly. You probably hear my baby on the, in her little chair. But um, intro this video by saying this video is all the times that I failed to film in the last few weeks. Um, or not all of them, I just intro in, put in some. Some of them made no sense. Um, you can see that I was severely sleep deprived when I first had the baby. I looked like I'd been taking drugs. Um, I'll be honest, but I thought I want to start doing daily vlogging and I'm actually going to challenge myself to film something every day for the next however long. Um, maybe to the end of the year and see how it goes because we've got November and December. But this video is all the times I failed, so enjoy it. It makes no sense. And I will be with you with an actual video, like a daily video, catching you up in my life next. You'll probably see me exactly looking like this again. Oh, hello everyone. Um, this feels really weird to do. So it's currently the 14th of September, and I'm currently with my little monkey. Um, we're going to all that in a minute, but I thought I wanted to do daily vlogging and I really wanted to just get straight into it when the baby was born. But having a baby is intense, I'm just so the last few weeks have just been a blur nappy changing, no sleeping, trying to get the hang of breastfeeding and bottle feeding and expressing and feeling like a cow. Um, I'm just trying to get back into being normal. I don't even know if we're normal, I haven't really put makeup, makeup on in the last hello. She's actually smiling, she's not, she's gassing, but you know. Look at this. It looks like she's smiling. Who's that? Who's that baby? Whoa, who's a pretty girl? Oh. Baby's always weird and so cute. She's posing. Hi. So Basically, my house is just messy all the time. I'm constantly washing stuff because this baby pukes all the time. So we're forever changing clothes and cleaning up sick and washing stuff. Um, I don't get any sleep because, so my other half has gone, or my husband has gone back to work now. Um, and because I'm at home, it makes more sense that I do most of the night feed stuff. Um, so she only actually, you know, she's good. She she likes to be close at night, so she struggles with her sleeping arrangement. But I'll show you kind of like what our setup is and actually what we do, um, because that changed a lot. Um, but yeah, she struggles with sleeping like on her own on her own. But like when she's, I get her into her cot at least twice a night, and we have a good couple of hour stretches. She only wakes up a couple of times a night to actually be fed. She wakes up a little bit more to like have cuddles. Um, it's hard, but normally we wake, we wake up at like, I don't go to bed till late anyway. Um, I can sleep with her in the day because I only have one baby at the moment and we're only three weeks into this. So currently what happens is I'll get up at night time with her, do the nighttime bits and bobs. We'll cuddle, we might fall asleep out here for a bit, we'll get in bed for a bit. And then throughout the morning up until my husband's like lunch break where he comes back home for a bit, we just like chill and we just like, if we want to have naps, we'll have naps. If we want to stay awake, we stay awake. I've been really into watching, um, I don't know if you guys have watched it, but The Circle. Um, I'm actually just watching the first season, which I think probably came out a little while ago, but I've been binging that with the baby. So, oh my goodness, little baby, put your nappy on. Um, so that's been really good. But it just like, I just try not to put too much pressure on myself. So my ambition when I first, like was pregnant and all that is when you're pregnant you're bored especially when you don't have any, any other babies you'll get bored and you want to do everything to keep busy because you you know the baby's going to come at some point but you have nothing to do up until then and when your baby is 13 days late like my baby was you kind of start running out of things to do so i filmed loads of videos when i was at home and i thought well i feel like you know crap now because i'm pregnant surely when the baby's out i'll be fine i'll just be tired but i'll still film because i'll be at home all day with her no, 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 no. I tried the first video I put up with the, like, my labour and delivery story. Um, that video I had to edit so much because I genuinely looked like I was having a breakdown a couple of times in that video because the baby would not let me film. And I was putting so much pressure on myself to, like, jump back into doing stuff that I wanted to do and looking for, like, like I do bits of work online and stuff and jumping straight back into all of that. And 
I just thought, you know what? I get maternity pay from my like actual nine to five job for a reason. I'm gonna spend at least the first six weeks just focusing on her because she's learning how to be a baby. I'm learning how to be a mum. So yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna start trying to do maybe weekly vlogging and just pick up on bits that happen throughout the week. Mwah. But um, I don't know what we'll get because a lot of it is just me and her doing this to each other and just talking to each other and laying in bed. Um, my hormones are like a lot more normal now so I'm not crying all the time, which is fabulous. But um, yeah, having a baby is amazing and the best thing in the world, but also terrifying and stressful and the hardest thing. And everyone says when you have one, it's easy. And I can totally see why it would be because I can sleep with her all, all the time and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm still just I'm just tired because you can sleep with the baby all the time, but when you don't get more than like intervals of like an hour or two of sleep at night, it's quite hard, isn't it, my love? Yes. Yes. We're gonna go and watch a bit more of the circle because we like that. And by we, obviously me. <laughs> Sophia doesn't care what we watch. Mm. But yeah, she's three weeks and uh what are you, three weeks and five days today on Monday? Yeah. So she'll be four weeks in a couple of days, which is crazy to me. <laughs> And the kid is baby. So what you'll probably see most of is this, me filming my baby constantly, because just look at her face. Look at that little cherub. Oh. And if you ever want to go see you know, pictures and videos and I'm not on YouTube, just go to my Instagram. Go and follow me on there, because we love a bit of Instagram, don't we? Yes. Why is she so cute and how did I make her? Baby, sit there. She's quite happy in this position. Hi. <laughs> See, I know she's too young to smile, but that's not the cutest thing. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? She's got a snotsy. Are you talking to yourself? Who is it? Okay, so the baby is like stirring a little bit, but she's gonna give me a few minutes to do what I need to do, which is ideal. So, well, I've realized we haven't really got much food in our house, which is not ideal, but um, I think my mum in law is gonna have her to stay tomorrow night, so that'll give me a bit of time to get some stuff done. Um, so, I might make a meal plan for the week tomorrow. For lunch, I'm going for um, a pasta and sauce. And it's the tomato, onion, herb one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Look at that double chin. So I am going to work on my getting fit and healthy and stuff thing too. Um, once we get into a slightly better routine. I, I want to start sort of as soon as possible. We've had quite a few things on the last few weeks. Um, and we've been eating a lot of stuff out of the fridge and freezer. But now that's kind of worked its way down. I'm going to start trying to eat healthier. Um, and just get on a bit of like budget friendly shopping. So I think later, maybe tomorrow I'll make it, but I don't know for sure, but I might cook later. Um, I'm gonna do a butternut squash soup, which I bloody love. Oh hey, so it's currently Thursday of this week. Um, it's safe to say we've had a pretty crap couple of days um, in terms of just like sleeping and just not sleeping, I guess, more so. Um, there's washing behind me and the kitchen is probably a mess. I don't know how much I could focus on it. Baby is in her baby beyond. Got this baby beyond second hand because I'm all about being good to the old uh, bank balance. <laughs> um, I just like to quickly sit down. I've kind of squashed myself in the most uncomfortable position here. Um, and the baby is gonna get very warm very quickly because I've just walked a long way. So she's probably gonna wake up quite soon, but I just nipped to Poundland and I thought, I've got nothing for this vlog yet. Let's do a Poundland haul. Let's go see if I can get a head out of this. So, yeah, I just went to Poundland. I actually had to pick up four things and I spent about 16 pounds, I think. So I just had to show you what I got quickly because we all love a good old fashioned quick Poundland haul. So, Poundland, first thing, these aren't for me. I'm not actually, controversially, I'm not actually a huge fan of Twinkies, but my other half is. And I just saw in the shop these, and they're called Cravings with a Z. Spongies with a Z. 
cream filled sponge cake golden sponge with cream filling so let's be honest that's a twinkie um and then i picked up this seven pack of um cloths so it's by the elbow grease bland bland oh, lack of sleep it's by the elbow grease brand and it's power cloths they're called um, and they've got scrub dots so they're not scratchy but they do scrub stuff so it's like a scourer but without it being scratchy and then i thought a bit of personal care keep it clean foot care ball so basically it's ba a foot grater is pretty much what this is essential toothpaste hand soap medex anti-back hand soap also 100 plasters for a pound i thought that was quite good um the other thing i bought was a little bit of self-care again i've seen things like this in super drug um but for a little bit more expensive this was obviously a pound and it's a kale face mask it says all oh, hail for kale and it was it says that it's got aloe vera and vitamin e to moisturize and nourish the skin then i bought two halloween things i'm gonna buy uh, sophia a little costume too uh, we live in a block of flats, so we're not going to get trick-or-treaters this year to our house. Um, but I thought I wanted to do a little Instagram picture, so I bought some freaky fabric and then this cobweb stuff, and I thought I would layer these two, put the baby on top of those two things, and then do a cute photo of her. And then I bought a giant laundry bag because I am forever doing washing, especially now I have a baby that pukes all the time. Um, and it's a pain to... I don't have a, like a laundry basket i don't really have the space for a basket and the bedrooms are like round the corner so it's not far but it's such a pain to have to like go back and forth and back and forth so i figured a laundry bag like this i can put fold up and like put on top of the washing machine so it takes up no room and basically whenever i've got washing out which is literally all the time at the moment um i can just put it in the bag and then take it to the rooms that i need it to be in then i got a small thing of listerine and 750 ml of lucasade sport oh she's like so offended that i moved her the red marks on her face are because she was leaning on a necklace that i'm wearing not anything else yes she is my little pudding <laughs> she's so offended that i've woken her up she was waking up but she's so offended that i've dragged her out so quickly Where's my little pudding? She's wearing the cutest outfit too. This outfit, um, I got in, um, if you watch my videos when I was doing my pregnancy videos, I got it in my eBay pack of clothes that I got like a surprise pack, I suppose, so to speak. And this came in and I wasn't sure if she'd better fit into it in time because I wasn't sure what the weather would be like in England, but it's been pretty cold today. So it's basically like the, the cutest little onesie, like fleecy kind of material. Um, so I put her in it when we went out because I thought it would keep her nice and warm and it did. So she wears these bibs, by the way. Oopsie. She wears these. She's wearing these bibs, by the way, which kind of ruin outfits. But you know, she. I bought loads of these bibs. If anyone can recommend where I could just buy a load of white ones of these, mega cheap, please let me know. But I've got a load of those bibs because. Um, hey. She's like, stop. What are you talking to? She can't figure out there's no other person in the room. Um. Yeah, I bought a load of bibs because she pukes on everything. So it saves changing a whole outfit just having bibs that I can just quickly throw in the washing machine. But I want to make sure that we never run out of them. So we've got lots of new muslin cloths and lots of new bibs for Stinky who pukes on everything. Who's in there? Can you see? Who's that baby? Oh, who's that baby? <gasps> who is it? Is that you? <laughs> She's so confused by this. I keep showing her her in the mirror and she just doesn't work out that it's her. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Wow. Hello, Pig. Oh, she's my pig. A small percentage of students pudge. make enough progress to move to a more mainstream school. Ah, oh, she's hungry. She's a hungry pudge. Uh, uh, hey, hey. So we're going to try and have a cuddle and be settled. I'm going to charge this battery um, and take off some footage from its memory card, I think. And then we will come back. Say bye-bye. Who's that? Who's that cutie for Tootie? Oh. Bye-bye. <laughs>